Peace, you too. Sheree with Imperial Flame Kennels. Just wanted to shout y'all out. I know I ain't posted a video in a minute, so I want to throw something up uh, regarding building muscle and conditioning on your dogs. Uh, and when I say muscle, I mean useful muscle, actual, you know, real muscle, right? As opposed to the cosmetic muscle you would see on a lot of American bullies. Um, so, it's no reason to build muscle on a dog unless you're trying to make the dog more powerful, right? If you want the dog to have longer wind, then you would build less muscle and more long-term endurance. But when you're talking about short-term bursts of energy, there is nothing like, you know, building muscle and quick muscle reflex. So what we did was we took my favorite tug, and my favorite tool for conditioning my dogs is this rope tug. And while we were out and about in the wild, I tied it to a tree, let him get some spring pole in. Well, that didn't work out because he took the whole branch off the tree. So then, we decided to just let him kind of get some flirt work along the riverbank. And that's what you see us doing here. Uh, the beauty of that is we have uh, our female Henny in the picture and she's flirting along with him. Right? Uh, and the more involved he gets, the more involved she gets. The dogs feed off of one another. One another. That's great competition. Once they both have a hold of it, you'll see here as I zoom in that uh, there's some real isometric control type exercises that you can do to literally foster the type of muscle and target the muscle area that you'd like to see developed on the dog. So this is just a little jewel from the Imperial Touch. We take a very simple tool like the rope tug. We can take this tool with us anywhere to our local park. Anywhere, right? Bring it out to an area where we can either tie it up and let the dog work like that or use it to flirt with the dog on a nice incline where the dog will be forced to really put its work in. One of the things about this particular area that I chose is that it's muddy as well. So even when they go all the way down the incline and come running back up the riverbank, they've got to dig in that mud is forcing them to move. And the last shot of this video, you will see just how chiseled this type of exercise actually makes the dog. And they got a real nice run here at the end of this video. So I'm going to sit back and let y'all check that out. I did speed this video up just to kind of get it in because it was a little bit long. So hope y'all enjoy. Imperial Flame Kennels, y'all keep the heat.